good evening to all today we will discuss classification of second order partial differential equations a second order partial differential equation is in the form a second order second order partial differential equation pd rr plus ss plus tt plus f of x y z pq is equal to g e is said to be is said to be first one parabolic parabolic if s square minus 4 r t is equal to g second one hyperbolic hyperbolic if s square minus 4 r t is greater than zero and uh, third one elliptic elliptic if s square minus 4 r t is less than zero this is the classification of first or second order partial differential equation in two independent variables x and y if three independent variables are there for three independent variables three independent variables we have to consider we consider the matrix we have to consider consider the matrix consider the matrix capital a capital a is equal to is equal to coefficient of coefficient of u x x and coefficient of u y x coefficient of u z x and here coefficient of coefficient of u y x coefficient of u y y coefficient of u z y and coefficient of u z x coefficient of u y sorry z z y here the coefficient of u z z we have to construct the matrix matrix by taking this formula the given equation is in the form of u x x plus u y x plus u z x plus u y x plus u y y plus u z z y plus u z x plus u z y plus u z z equal to zero some constants also are before these terms okay in this case if the determinant if modulus of or determinant of a is equal to zero then we say that then we say that we say that given pde is parabolic given pde is parabolic in this case and if determinant is not equal to zero if determinant is not equal to zero case we have two possibilities we have to find the eigen values all eigen values all eigen values all eigen values are non zero non zero having the same sign having the same sign in this case the given pd then given pd given pd is elliptic here in this case the given pd is elliptic if the all the eigen values are non zero non zero all eigen values eigen values are non zero non zero having having same sign having having the same sign same sign except one okay except one for example uh two three four in this any one either two or three or minus or three 
2, 3, or 4, whatever the value as opposite sign, except to 1, 1 is opposite sign. In this case, in this case, the given PD, the given partial differential equation PDE is hyperbolic. Okay. This is the classification of uh, first or uh, second order partial differential equations. When two independent variables are there, we have to apply the, uh, see the, these three conditions. When three independent variables are there, we can use this. Okay. Now I'm taking one problem. One problem <coughs> from set A. Set A. D points. D points. X comma Y lying in the region. Lying in the region. The region. Region. Minus one less than y less than one comma zero less than x less than two. At which the equation at which the equation the equation getting the equation y square minus one into the square u by two x square the square u by do x square plus 2x into 2x into do square u by do x do y do x do y minus do square u by do y square is equal to x plus y. Okay. Is parabolic is parabolic is parabolic like on Line on A. Okay. This is the question. We have options. First, option A, straight line, straight line. And the uh, option B, parabola. And B is parabola. And the uh, option C, hyperbola, hyperbola. And the uh, Option D is circuit. These are the four options. First, we have to uh, compare this equation with the RR SS PT is equal to F of XYZ PQ equal to G. So here R is equal to Y square minus 1, S is equal to 2X and T equal to this. So, the given equation is parabolic, we are given, it is uh, parabolic, we are given. When it is parabolic, 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 then the condition is S square minus 4RT is equal to 0. S square means 4X square minus 4 times of Y square minus 1 plus uh, into t, t is minus 1, is equal to 0. We can take 4 common here, x square, this is plus uh, y square minus 1, is equal to 0. So, we can divide with the 4. So, the equation is x square plus y square minus 1 equal to 0. That means, x square plus y square is equal to 1. This is an equation of circuit passing through the origin and having center uh, 1, sorry, passing through the origin, center is origin and the radius is 1, okay. Now I am taking another problem from set the differential equation is set the differential equation x into do square z by 2 x square plus 3 into do square z by 2 x do y do x do y plus y into do square z by do y square plus do z by do y. 
represented by dou y is equal to 0 is. We have options here. I'm writing one by one. First option A, elliptic. Elliptic for, for xy less than 9 by 4. 9 by 4. And hyperbolic. Hyperbolic for, for xy greater than xy greater than 9 by 4. First option. And uh, option B, same. Elliptic for xy xy less than or equal to 9 by 4 and hyperbolic for xy greater than 9 by 4. Same. And the option C, elliptic for xy greater than 9 by 4, 9 by 4, and hyperbolic for hyperbolic for xy less than 9 by 4, xy less than 9 by 4. And uh, option D, elliptic for xy greater than xy greater than 9 by 4 and hyperbolic for xy less than or equal to 9 by 4. These are the options. We have uh, either elliptic or hyperbolic. So, um, this equation with the RR SS PT. So, here we can write the coefficient r, so, small r coefficient that is x and uh, s coefficient is 3 and t value is 1. Now I am considering s square minus 4 r t value. s square means 9 minus 4 x1. Okay. We have two options here, either elliptic or hyperbolic. In either elliptic or hyperbolic, either it is greater than 0 or it is less than 0. If it is greater than 0, okay, for hyperbolic condition, I'm saying. Hyperbolic. Hyperbolic means 9 minus 4xy is greater than 0. So we can write 9 is greater than 4xy. That is 9 by 4 greater than x. So that is nothing but xy, xy is xy is less than less than 9 by 4. It is hyperbolic condition. Now elliptic condition, elliptic condition, just opposite for this. That means xy is greater than 9 by 4. Is equal to condition under body. Is equal to ante mali parabolic. Kavati e rendu options in the choose is called. Hyperbolic dagra xy less than 9 by 4. xy less than 9 by 4 thoti. Uh, okay, option in that. But less than or equal to the xy greater than 9 by 4 only. C no. Kavati option C is the right option. Okay. Now, I am taking another problem from set, from set, the partial differential equation, the partial differential equation, so we are writing PD, do square z by do x square plus 2 into do square z by do x do y plus do square z by do y square is equal to 0 is. Okay. We have options. I am writing one by one here. First option A, parabolic, parabolic and, and its complete solution, its complete solution, its complete solution 
is z is equal to x into phi 1 of x minus 2y plus phi 2 of x minus a. option a and uh, option b parabolic and uh, its uh, complete solution is same of here z equal to x into phi 1 of x minus y plus phi 2 of x minus y. Option C, same parabolic and its uh, complete solution is z equal to z equal to 2x into 2x into phi 1 of 2x plus 3y, 2x plus 3y plus phi 2 of 2x minus 3, minus 3. So, both are same, 2x plus 3. And uh, option D, same, parabolic and its complete solution is z equal to, z equal to 2x into, 2x into, phi 1 of y minus 2x plus phi 2 of y minus 2x. These are the options. Manakku four options lo parabolic mention is that and no need to check whether it is parabolic or not. Okay. Any option lo unde. Okay. We to check this one. But we have to find the complete solution. Complete solution means we have to find the particular uh, complementary function. So, the corresponding axillary equation I am getting m square plus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. Nothing much m plus 1 whole square equal to 0. Nothing much m equal to minus 1 minus. Here in this case, here in this case, the complementary function is the general solution. So, z equal to some function of y minus x plus x into some another function of y minus x. Y minus X and na, X minus Y and the same and the option B is the option. Okay. Yeah. Now I am taking another problem from set. This is also from set. The PDE what is that? PDE. The PDE 1 plus x square into uxx plus 1 minus x square into 1 minus x square into uyy uyy plus 2uxy 2uxy is equal to 0 is. So we have options here. Option A elliptic elliptic in the region in the region set of ordered pair x y such that x greater than 0 y belongs to set of the elements in the option b parabolic parabolic in the region, in the region, set of ordered pair x y such that x greater than zero, y belongs to, and the option C, the hyperbolic, hyperbolic, in the region in the region set of uh, ordered pair x y such that x greater than 0 y belongs to r and the option d parabolic parabolic in the region in the region set of ordered pair x y such that x less than 0 
y belongs to r. These are the four options here. Okay. So first uh, we have to write the r value while comparing r r plus s s plus t t plus f of x y z equal to zero. We can write the r value that is one plus s square. S value is two and the t value is one minus s square. So, first we have only, uh, I am taking, considering s square minus 4 rt that is equal to 4 minus 4 of 1 plus x square into 1 minus x square. We can take 4 common here, 1 minus 1 plus x square into 1 minus x square nothing but 1 minus x power 4, okay. a minus b into a plus b. So here 4 times of this one will be cancelled, x to the power of 4. For all x, already we are given x is positive number, okay. And x is positive number, x power 4 also, even though x is negative number also, it is, okay. We are independent of y, y is any real number, and in this case, this is greater than 0. Greater than 0 means s square minus 4rt greater than 0. That means it is hyperbolic. So, option C is the okay. Now, I am taking another problem. Option B, uh, option B, okay. option B is check here. Now we go for another problem. It is from gate. gate. Uh, the PDE, the partial differential equation, PDE. x square into dou square z by dou x square. Dou square z by dou x square. Uh, y square minus 1 into x dou square z by dou x dou y plus y into y minus 1 whole square into dou square z by dou y square plus plus I am writing here x into dou z by dou x plus y into dou z by dou y is equal to 0 is hyperbolic is hyperbolic hyperbolic in a region in a region in a region in the x y plane in the x y plane this is the uh, question. Now we have options here. Option one is x not equal to zero and y is equal to one. Option two, x is equal to zero and y not equal to one. Option three, x not equal to zero and y not equal to one. And uh, option 4, x is equal to 0 and uh, y is equal to 1. We have four options. So, first time, consider the given differential equation with uh, rr plus ss plus uh, tt plus f of x, y, z, p, q is equal to 0. So, here r is equal to x square, s is equal to minus x into and writing x before the y square minus 1 y square minus 1 and t equal to y into y minus 1 now we are given the condition is hyperbolic the given pd is hyperbolic when it is hyperbolic when it is hyperbolic then writing hyperbolic condition hyperbolic if S square minus 4RT is greater than 0. 
X square means is whole square. That is X square into Y square minus one whole square minus four into X square into Y square into Y minus one whole square. This is greater than C. This is complete term will be greater than C. You can take a X square common and also this can be written as y minus 1 into y plus 1 and the whole square is there. So, we can take y minus 1 whole square as common. Okay. So, remaining your first term y plus 1 whole square minus 4 y square is 1. Okay. This is uh, complete term is greater than 0. Okay. So, complete product is 0. Uh, and we are given uh, elliptic condition. Okay, we are using elliptic. In this case, we can write uh, x square minus x square into y minus one whole square is greater than zero. But on first two, okay. so x square greater than zero, and uh, and uh, we can take y minus one whole square is also greater than zero. Okay. So, both are negative also, the product will be 0. In this case, x is not equal to 0. Okay. Positive number means. Here, in this case, y is, y is not equal to 1. Okay. So, x not equal to 0, y not equal to 1 is third option. Third option is the right option. 